Wonderful Let me thing. ask you about some of the things you've said about Vladimir Putin. You said, I will tell you, in terms of leadership, he's getting an A. Our president is not doing so well. And when referring to a comment that Putin made about you, I think he called you a brilliant leader, you said, it's always a great honor to be so nicely complimented by a man so highly respected within his country and beyond. Well, he does have an 82 percent approval rating, according to the different pollsters, who, by the way, some of them are based right here. Look. He's also look. a guy who annexed Crimea, invaded Ukraine, supports Assad in Syria, supports Iran, is trying to undermine our influence in key regions of the world, and according to our intelligence committee, community, probably is the main suspect for the hacking of the DNC computers. Well, nobody basically. knows that for a fact, but do you want me to start naming some of the things that President Obama does But do you want to be time? complimented by that former KGB officer? Well, I think when he calls me brilliant, I'll take the compliment, okay? The fact is, look, it's not going to get him anywhere. I'm a negotiator. We're going to take back our country. You look at what's happening to our country. You look at the depleted military. You look at the fact that we've lost our jobs. We're losing our jobs like we're a bunch of babies. We're going to take back our country, man. The fact that he calls me brilliant or whatever he calls me is going to have zero impact. But the fact that you say you can get along with him. I do think, you think I'll be able day, to get along with him. Do you think the day that you become president of the United States, he's going to change his mind on some of these key issues? Possibly. It's possible. I don't know, Matt. It's possible. And it's not going to have any impact. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. I've already said he is really very much of a leader. I mean, you can say, oh, isn't that a terrible thing he called? I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system. But certainly, in that system, he's been a leader, far more than our president has been a leader. We have a divided country. We have a country where you have Hillary Clinton with her emails that nobody's ever seen, where she deletes 33,000 emails, and that's after getting a subpoena from Congress. If you do that in private business, you get thrown in jail. Hallie? Korea, here with me, was in the Army Reserves and spent 10 months in Iraq right at the beginning of Operation Iraqi Freedom. He is a Republican and has this question for you. Good evening, Mr. Trump. Hi. I like what you say about supporting veterans and how they are important, but I haven't heard what the actual plans are to continue that support beyond words. How will you translate those words to action after you take office? Well, I love that question because I've been very close to the vets. Uh, you see the relationship I have with the vets just by looking at the polls. In fact, today a poll came out. and. My relationship has been very good. Uh, I have a very, very powerful plan that's uh, on my website that you possibly saw. One of the big problems is the wait time. Uh, vets are waiting six days, seven days, eight days. And by the way, Hillary Clinton, six months ago, said the vets are being treated essentially just fine. There's no real problem. It's over-exaggerated. She no, did no, say She that. went on after that and laid uh, out a litany of problems it. within the VA. Look, I mean, she made up half of the things she said about me. I'm telling you, this is, she said she was satisfied with what was going on in the Veterans Administration. Now, under my plan, if you've got to wait, and by the way, people are dying online. They're dying, waiting, waiting to get to see a doctor. They're waiting five days and six days. Under a part of my plan, if they have that long wait, they walk outside, they go to the local doctor, they choose the doctor, they choose the hospital, whether it's public or private, they get themselves better. In many cases, it's a minor procedure or a pill or just a prescription, and they end up dying because they can't get to see the doctor. We will pay the bill. They go outside, they get a doctor, they get a prescription, they do what they have to do, and we pay the bill. That is something that I have been praised. And by the way, I never said take the VA, take it, the Veterans Administration private. I wouldn't do that. Too much respect for our people. I would never do that. Okay. I heard it was said that I said that I would not do that. But I do believe, I do believe, when you're waiting in line for six, seven days, you should never be in a position like that. You go out, you see the doctor, you get yourself taken care of.